Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're taking a look at a 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone Hybrid in the color gray. Let's take a look. So starting up front here, underneath the hood we do have a V6 iForce Max Hybrid engine. It is automatic transmission and gets up to 437 horsepower and 583 pound-foot of torque. As you can see up front here, we have the LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and the fog lights. If you look across your front bumper, you'll notice these little nodules. These are your front parking sensors. And underneath the front logo, you have your front facing camera. As you move along the sides here, we do have our alloy wheels and our power folding retractable step. We also have our side mirrors with integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. If you look underneath the bottom of them, we'll find an additional camera plus parking sensors which contribute to the full surround view camera effect. Rear windows do all come with factory tinting. As we take a look in the back here, you see that your rear windshield is able to be fully retracted downwards. And up top here, we do have the bed lights set up. If we take a look at our back space here, we also have the retractable footstep for the back and some additional parking sensors along the rear bumper. If you look next to your handle, you'll find your backup camera. To open up the back, you can use the button on the fob, the button underneath the handle, or there is the button on the side by the taillight to bring down your tailgate. So take a quick look in the back here. We've got some nice lights in the area, keeping it fully illuminated and additional power outlet on the right hand side. Plus we have this lovely Tundra plastic bed liner in the back. And to raise up your tailgate again, just reach down and bring it up. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So taking a look here in our back seat area, You'll see that the internal upholstery is this beautiful, clean, and black-toned leatherette with this nice white, fine detail stitching and nice texture throughout. This is actually partially an indicator of being ventilated seats, having this texturing. In the middle, there is a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which easily folds away to increase your seating space. On the back of both your passenger and driver's side seats, we do have additional pouch storage, and on the back of the console here, we do have both heated and cooled seats for your rear passengers, plus some additional power outlet space and cup holders. We also have this beautiful view of this fully panoramic sunroof. Taking a look at our doors here, we have plenty of storage space, and of course we have the fully integrated sun visors, which fold away nice and sleek, or come back up to protect the eyes of your rear passengers. As we move forward here, take a look at your handle. You'll see this little nodule here. This indicates it is a keyless entry unit, and you can simply tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside the driver's door, first thing you might notice, a little bit hard in the daylight to see, but we do have this nice ambient lighting, which can be found throughout the cab. Like I said, a little bit more noticeable at nighttime. We do have our power windows for the front, the back, child safety lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls including the ability to fully fold your mirrors fully flat into your vehicle that can be set up to be fully out, fully in, or automated. We also have our memory seat settings on this lovely wood trim, which is also found throughout the cab spaces. This means that we do have, of course, electronic seat adjustments, back, forth, up, down, and lumbar support, and this nice little adjustment which allows you to extend the space underneath your knees. Your hood release latch is located on the bottom left hand side of the dash, above that we have the controls for your automated running boards which can be set out or in or to move automatically with the vehicle doors opening. We also have our heated leather steering wheel, rear power, the lights for your side mirrors, the ability to fully extend them in or out, rear parking sensors, odometer trip, dash brightness, your gas compartment, headlight controls, and the controls for that bed light which again can be on off or set to work automatically. We also have the power tilt and telescopic control for your steering wheel. Really nice, great feature like that. So, going in and taking a look here at our steering wheel itself. On the left hand side here we do have the controls for your dash, as well as your hands-free communication and your volume control. Right hand side 
we have our radio controls on the bottom and our adaptive cruise control up top, including our sonar and wind departure. In the middle is your infotainment center. This is where you access much of the information about your daily driving experience, including all of your audio listening. This unit does come with AM, FM, and satellite radio, as well as full Bluetooth connectivity for both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We do also have USB adapters available for this, too. Underneath here, we have your climate control center. This is dual climate control so that you and your front passenger can have unique temperature settings if you're looking to do so. We also have our defrost for front and rear windshields located here, as well as defrost for your side mirrors. Plus, we have our heated and cooled seats for both front passengers, just like in the back. Some additional uh, USB space, which you can find more of inside of your console. Next to here is where you have your push start ignition and your brake controls. Underneath, we have more brake controls, your surround view camera effects right here, traction control. And then in the middle, you'll notice this little black square. This is a wireless charging pad for all compatible devices. And the little glowing light indicates that it is on and ready for use. Right behind your gear shift is where you'll find your control for your two high, four high, and four low, as well as your drive versus tow haul modes. Last but not least, looking upwards, we have this really great built-in feature for the rear view mirror. Currently, it is set in the camera mode. And if you just flip it, it will switch to your regular mirror, flip it up again, and it fades back into the camera depending on what use you're looking. You'll also notice these little house symbols that show up. They correlate with the dots 1, 2, and 3 for your garage door opening. Above that, we have controls for your, or not controls, but rather storage space for your sunglasses, controls for overhead lighting, and controls for your gorgeous panoramic moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour of this 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone Hybrid in the color gray. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.